If you've ever felt like driving your car straight into Franklin's house on Grove Street, or if you want to spawn in the bridge level and crash a car across a bridge, or if you've ever felt like drifting a human being, stick with me and I will show you in five easy steps how to mod tear down. Let's get to it. What's up guys, it's the Killerams, and today we're going to learn how to mod teardown. So we are on modworkshop.net, uh, and step one is find the mods. So there's a few websites to go to, there's modworkshop.net, there is teardownmods.com, and there's nexusmods.com slash teardown, all those will be available in the description. Alright, step two, open Steam, right click on teardown, go to properties, we go to the local files tab and then browse local files okay so step three we want to rename our folder I'll just put custom old so that we have the old settings and I'm also gonna rename my XML file here just so I have the backup of that one too Let's do custom old step four we will copy custom and custom.xml. We'll drag them into here. Cool. So those should be there. And then the files, uh, the Minecraft town is here in the Vox files. And step five is open teardown. All right, now that we got teardown open, we go to play, we go to create, and then custom level. So that'll open the Minecraft town for us. Perfect, look at that. And that is how to mod Teardown. Everything in here is destructible. So for weapons, keep in mind that you need to have the base weapon unlocked already and you'll just be going and replacing the blowtorch, the shotgun, uh, the pipe bomb, stuff like that. Another tip, it's a good practice to close the game in between modding. Just a good practice. And there you have it. If you found this helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. If you like teardown, modding, other building games. <laughs> make sure to check out the kilograms.com for the music in this intro. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace.